Good morning, everybody. We're here in Valcourt, Quebec. Got here last night. I just got loaded. I gotta jump out, tie this thing down. It's raining. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. After that, we head home. It'll be a two long day drive home or two in a little bit, but I could probably get it done in two long days if everything goes smooth. But this is trucking. We'll see what happens. I'm soaked to the bone. Every single one of them, all the bones. Just went inside, got my paperwork. I had to hide it inside my shirt like I'm some kind of like drug dealer or something. I got the goods. Thanks. Didn't want it to get all soaked. Okay, I'm gonna change into dry clothes. And we're gonna get out of here. Oh, rain, 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 rain. You know, I'd rather have snow than rain, to be honest. As long as it's not too cold, I'd rather it be lightly snowing. Not, 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 not a blizzard. Let's not get crazy. Let's not get out of control. Don't twist my words. A light snow is better than a light rain or a downpour. Just a light snow like you'd have on Christmas Day. Be so nice. So much better than this. Rain, rain, rain. Got my hair all wet. We have about 2,500 kilometers to get back home. Which is about 1,550 miles or so. We're hoping to get this done in two days, but uh, it might be two days in a little bit. We'll see how hard we can push it. We'll drive into the night tonight, start as early as we can tomorrow. See if we can get home. I think if we get home tomorrow, it'll be like late, late night tomorrow, which means I'd probably sleep at the shop and then go, go home in the morning so I don't wake the whole house up when I get home at three in the morning. We'll see what happens. We'll see how the roads are. We'll see how traffic is. We do got to get around Montreal and through Ottawa yet. And after that, there's no real big, big cities until we get to Winnipeg. Lawrenceville. Or Lawrenceville. Did I say it right? Lawrenceville. Okay, back. Trying to get down to the main highway again. And we gotta go, like I was telling you before, we gotta go up to Montreal, go around Montreal. In 200 meters, turn right on. We're Principal, RTE 243. And once we're, uh, Around Montreal, we gotta get to Ottawa, get through Ottawa. But he loves Ottawa. And then we're pretty much on a clear shot all the way to Winnipeg. Not really any anything to see or talk about until then. <laughs> erect! Did I erect properly? Can 
Quebecois, they're not French, because French people are from France. And ask anybody in Quebec, this is not France! Or should I say, ask anyone in France, this is not France. <laughs> I don't know which way it goes. One way or the other, the other one's like, you're not the real French. And then I think the Quebec side says, no, we're the real French. Like they think they're more French than the French in France. I think that's the way it goes. I don't know, they're two different dialects of French too, like they have different accents. So they sometimes find it hard to understand each other too. Quebec sort of speaks like the old traditional French, I believe. And France is sort of modernized with a bunch of slang. I don't know, that's what I've heard. I don't speak French, but all I know is if you ask someone in Quebec if they're if this is like France, they'll be like, uh uh, no uh. -uh. So they're not French, they're Quebecois. Alright? Get it right, Trucker Josh. Get it right. I still probably got it wrong. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm just a tourist. I'm just rolling through your beautiful province. Don't mind me, I mean you no harm. I just I'm just enjoying your beauty. I'll be gone soon. Don't worry. <laughs> They're all get rid of this Anglo! This Anglophone! Go back! Stop spitting. It's kind of ruining my shots. Have these white 
bumpers going.
Karen, you talk too much. Driving fuel at Petra Pass. We're back in Ontario. We're on Kings Highway 417. Swing into the pumps. Oh, they got a scale here too. Nice. One or the other. That guy is actively working on the fuel situation there. And this guy on the right here, I don't know what he's doing. He's just parking there. He's got no fuel lining his tank or anything going into his tank. Hopefully he hasn't just parked there and gone inside for lunch. It's a big lot. You don't have to park in the pumps, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe he's, maybe he's doing something. 475 liters. I've got to put that into my app and my book yet figure out what that is in miles per gallon and everything, but I am going to go to the other side of the freeway. There's a Tim Hortons there at the Esso. So I bought fuel here and I'll go buy coffee over there. How about that? Supporting two businesses on the same interstate. Well, not interstate, sorry. Freeway, King's Highway, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean. You know, Tim's doesn't have the best coffee, but they got better coffee than Petro Canada. Sorry, Petro Canada. I mean, it's... Actually, you know, Petro Canada's have got the new bean to cup coffees now. So I, that's actually, I'll actually give them the credit now. It's probably at par. I forgot about that. So I didn't really need to leave now and go to Timmy's. But now it's too late. I'm already rolling. I got my seatbelt on. There's no going back now. Past the point of no return. Have a Burger King and a pizza pizza. Take the entrance to the left on Highway 417 West RT. Karen, Karen. West Ottawa. I can't have a simple conversation with my friends without you butting in, wanting to be part of it. I want to be a part of every conversation. Just gonna go up, up, up. That's the highway we're on underneath us here. We're going to the right. Continue on this road for seven kilometers. Head west. So from here, we got to get through the city of Ottawa. I don't know if it's a good idea getting a coffee right before we get to the big city, but here we go. I made that mistake yesterday in Toronto. Ooh, I had to go. I had to go so bad, and when you're in traffic, there's nowhere to stop, nowhere to pull over. You just gotta hope you don't explode. But, like I said, too late. I already made up my mind. We're going to Tim's. Can't change my mind now. I'm a man of my word. Why do I keep going to Tim's? Why? Why, even though the service is terrible and the products aren't that great? Because when you're in the countryside here, away from the big cities, you get much better service. Much better service. I have no complaints about Tim Horton's service outside the big cities. For the most part, for the most part. And the coffee, it's, it's, all, it's, it's all pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not like, wow, but it's, it's like, wow, you know, it's better than gas station coffee. That's for sure. I'm going to go get one right now and then uh, empty, uh, empty the old bladder and uh, hope that it doesn't fill up before I'm on the other side of Ottawa. It's a risky situation I'm putting myself in here. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Take back what I said about the service. Uh, talk about inappropriate conversations in the behind the tail. Like these, there's these young girls working behind there. Uh, half of them were speaking, well, half the time they were speaking in a language I didn't understand. And the other half of the time they were speaking in English and they were talking about uh, in depth about lady issues that ladies deal with once a month. And then they were talking smack about some guy that I don't know, must have been one of their boyfriends. Like it's just like really intimate personal conversations, really loud, right in front of me. I was just like, well, it's good to know. Good to know that's information I did not ask for, but now I have this information in my mind and I don't know what to do with it. So I'm just gonna give it to you guys. And it, just, it, it went on like the whole time I was in there. It was like really loud, inappropriate conversations about like, uh, at least I, I don't know. Timmy's, it's hit and miss. It's usually a miss. I'm gonna keep going back. All right, 
please be my friend. Now, I need you to do me a favor and stay in my belly and inside me. Uh, and don't cause any problems until I'm outside of Ottawa on the other side. Don't try and make a reappearance before then, okay? It's risky. I think I'm like an hour away from the city or something. Drink this now. It's gonna hit me probably on the far end of the city if I know myself, but. I like living dangerous. We'll see what happens. I'm not gonna drink it right away anyways. I always let it sit there for like 20 minutes to cool down, so. That'll give me a little bit of extra time. Mr. Car Hauler, here's, he's coming and playing Russian Roulette with Tim Hortons as well. He smiled and waved at me. Nice guy. stop scheduled until my next bathroom break. Hopefully we'll be later than sooner. Ottawa, this away. Another drive, we're gonna go to Tim Hortons, play Russian Roulette. Shouldn't call it Russian Roulette, we should call it Timmy Roulette. You don't know, you never know. order a bagel and get a donut? I don't know. Maybe I'll order a coffee and get a tea. Who knows? It's Tim Hortons. You never know. You'll order a wrap and they'll give you a Timbit. <laughs> or you'll order 20 Timbits and they'll just stare at you blankly. Continue on this road for 62 kilometers. Oh, Tim Hortons, you have fallen from grace. But I still got a Tim Hortons in my cup holder, so I mean, I guess they win, right? I guess they win. Why is it 80 kilometers an hour here? Well, everybody else is doing 100. I'm gonna do 80, because I don't want a ticket. Why, why is it 80 here? I think the construction is done. I think we can put the speed limit back up. Welcome to Ottawa, the nation's capital where everything happens, right? It's been like this through the entire city.
thank God. You guys gotta let me know down below, why do you all live in the same spot? We have a massive country spread out. No need for all that. That traffic was worse than Toronto, though it didn't last as long because Ottawa is not as big of a city, but the traffic itself inside the city was worse than Toronto. About 10 miles an hour through the entire city. But we're out, and my bladder didn't disappoint me. I don't even have to stop yet. Pretty much clear sailing all the way west now. It'll turn into a two lane highway soon, but no more big, big cities. I changed my mind from the direction I was coming. It's actually slightly shorter to take Highway 11 and there's less hills. So at North Bay, that's where the fork in the road was. We're going up on the North Highway 11. And I've got this driver that is right up my rear end behind me. Uh, Semi-truck driver. I can't even see him. I, can't even see, I just know he's behind me because I can see his headlights glowing underneath my trailer. He wants to go faster me. I'm waiting for him to make his dangerous pass. Just tailgating like there's no tomorrow. I mean, he's a long ways back there from me, so if a deer jumps out in front of me, his truck will be totaled and my trailer will probably have not even a scratch on it. Let's see if he'll come past here now. There's a big... Oh, there's oncoming traffic. He might try anyways. He already tried pulling out in front of oncoming traffic once. Welcome to Northern Ontario. All right, we got a passing lane and I'm slowing down. I'm gonna let him pass me. He's got bright lights. I'm tired of him being in my mirror. Oh, there's a whole bunch of you back there. Oh, wow, you're tailgating me so close I couldn't even see y'all. And there's one more guy coming with his free high beams on. I'm gonna let him get past me for sure. Woo! 